a brand new video it's your girl chanel the living dolly what's up happy wednesday i hope everyone is having a great day a great week i hope you all celebrated international women's day in style no matter what you did as long as you had a good day that's good to go right so i hope you all enjoy this video today we are going to be doing my updated what i have in my handbag yes this is my handbag if you all looked at my previous what i have in my handbag video you would know this is my everyday handbag because yeah i realize a lot of people tend to think that okay then chanel who is like you know glammed up and everything would have some cute bag or something like this but this is pretty cute you know but yeah this is more my everyday style because of like my job and stuff like that so i will get into all of that if you do enjoy this video do not forget to like comment share and subscribe welcome to the family doll fam if this is your first time you've seen me on your screen welcome back if you are recurring subby love y'all thanks so much for stopping by and let me have run a little more let's get into the video so first things first let me just apologize just in case you are able to hear the drilling going on i do have some construction happening in my area right now but you know what can i do so let's ignore that right so this is my handbag I got this handbag at Ross um, in 2019. Yeah, I am um, a lover of Ross and also a lover of this bag and just a lover of affordable things. I believe it was like about 17 or 15 US and it's really durable. I think it's a, what is it called? A Betsy Johnson bag, as you can tell from the top right here. And it's very durable. I mean, it's not peeling, nothing like that. It's been almost three years and my favorite bag because <laughs> it's my everyday bag all right so let's get into it so opening up the bag here i'm gonna show you what i have of course my wallet this is also a purchase that i made same year um 2019 i do need to get a new one uh i'll probably get one like later this year but um i like this one i mean it has a lot of room yeah my money is like never really in properly so you know that's just how it is right as long as it's in there somewhere but yeah this is where it is i keep my cards wallet usual thing right so i can't remember the cost of this but i believe it was less than five or ten dollars but it lasts really really long you know 2019 till now it is kind of like tearing up um <laughs> on the inside i'm not gonna lie as you can see there but i love it so i'm not ready to part with it just yet so yeah whatever <laughs> right so next up i have of course a body spray because your girl don't want to be caught out here slipping and you know smelling funny so i wouldn't really use it too too much but i still like to have it just in case because in the front part of my bag i actually have my deodorant right secret you all would have seen this if you looked at my little um pennywise haul the shorts video that i posted i think over this weekend yeah definitely they go hand in hand this one keeps me in check and this one keeps me you know smelling cute and fruity so yeah i have these two front and on the so inside next in the bag i know it looks kind of stuffed but that's just the way that it looks i have my brush right um this is actually not the brush that i use you know when it is i'm like combing out my wigs and stuff like that but um it fits the other one that is bigger and it's purple i don't have it here right now but yeah it fits into my bag a whole lot better because the other one is like bigger so yeah this is more like you know portable so i have this and i have these scrunchies that i purchased from shein um as i mentioned to you all before when i work outside on the field it's usually very hot you know i'm working so i'm not really dressed like this i'm pretty much in a t-shirt and jeans you all have seen this many times i've told you all as well right so when it is i want my hair to be out of my face out of the way i have these crunchies um i got these sometime last year i think closer to christmas time they were quite affordable as you all know she is quite affordable um i'm trying to remember how much they were but they were less than two dollars if i could i will post a picture here for you to see what it looks like but it's basically like brown is like satin satin scrunchies and i likes to wear it on her arm i think that's a whole white 2k 
generation kind of vibe but i want it actually for my hair so it really does help my hair instead of using like the regular like um gosh it's not wookies it's like a thinner version of them that you can get in pennywise it's black instead of using those because i find those kind of tangle up my hair i like to use these satin scrunchies because i find like they kind of just hold my hair and they don't have it tangled up you know i want to keep my like hair looking presentable and not like knotty so yeah these are really really good and for like less than two dollars i believe so yeah so next up in my bag i have these wipes i usually would have wipes in my bag like i like to get a small pack just in case because you all know we are living in a what is this like a pandemic slash epidemic because it seems like if we have to learn to live with this thing so i have been kind of saving this one because i find the pack is like so cute i like the colors and everything but i have this it's a 10 piece antibacterial wipes safe for your hands right so here's the thing i do have my sanitizer which i'll tell you all about but sometimes i like to you know for like door handles and stuff like that when it is i am going to touch a door handle especially of a foreign place so whether it's in my office or whether it's like in a vehicle or anything like that i like to make sure that i kind of wipe the door handle a little bit it's a little ocd of me but not really that much i wouldn't say that most i'm just being cautious because y'all know ain't nobody trying to get sick out around here right so yeah so i have these right i have not used this one as yet because i actually have an old pack so i'm trying to finish that out so let me take that out one time then i have a pack of disposable masks of course we all know what these look like i actually forgot to put this in my pennywise shorts that i posted it was like a tiktok i have it on my instagram as well because every month i would actually get like a box of disposable masks this is the one that i get 50 disposable three layer mask um it's five packs and 10 in each I think it was $50 for it in Pennywise. And yeah, they work pretty much good. Um, they are disposable, but I'll be honest with you, I don't throw them away every single time because like, you know, that's costly to keep buying these masks right through. So I would kind of, you know, wash them out depending. Let me be specific before somebody says, oh my God, you can't do that. No, it's not like that. The thing is, if it is I'm wearing makeup, it's definitely got to go because I have not mastered the art of making sure that my face does not transfer onto my mask. So if it's if it's makeup, you know, anywhere, I need to take it off and definitely get rid of it. But if it's just like I'm leaving the house and, you know, I'm going to work, I would actually take it off when I get home and actually soap it out so that way I can reuse it at a later time, hang it up to dry and everything like that. That's just something that I do. Let me know if you all do that or if you all get a brand new mask every single time, which I find, you know, kind of ridiculous, but up to you. But say what, you know, we're trying to be cost effective, effective over here. It's $50 a box. But yeah, I usually have like a pack. I like to have a pack on me just in case of anything. Sometimes I double mask. Sometimes I triple mask depending on, you know, my surroundings, you know, anything like that, just to be cautious. So I just like to have mask with me. So next up, I have my trusty sanitizer. Yes, I'm walking around with this huge bottle because I find like the small bottles uh, is cool when it is you could, you know, refill and everything like that. And the Bath and Body Works sanitizer that I was using in my last, um, what I have in my handbag, that's a definite no, that's not gonna kill any germs. So I don't know what I was doing, but yeah. So I actually got this um, rinse-free hand sanitizer as a free gift from Pennywise last December. And yeah, I've been using it. It works really well. It's extremely potent. Like it's strong. It feels like if you're putting like pure alcohol, alcohol on your hand, but basically it's no water, no soap, no sticky residue, fresh, fresh clean scent, 75% alcohol. And that is true. I don't know, but it really does work when it is there's some sanitizer when you put them on your hand like it's feeling kind of greasy and melty and ugh, it just irks me so yeah i don't like that one but yeah i thank you anyways for this free gift because i've been using it steadily since i would say like the past couple months in between of using others of course but yeah i really do like this one i don't know what is the actual cost for it it's probably available at Pennywise if they were giving it out for free. <laughs> but yeah, I have this one in my bag. Okay, so next up, I have my headset. 
um, you know, just to listen to music or I, if I'm on the go, like on my way to work or on my way back or anything like that, I would usually, you know, be looking for content to create, you know, ideas, outfit inspiration, even to edit my videos. What's wrong with this car? Anyway, yeah, so to even edit my video. So when it is I'm in the zone, my headset is always with me. I love it, need it, use it practically every day. <laughs> Next up, I have in my bag some sanitary napkins. So, um, I think every girl should have some of these. Like, I also have to have it like a little pouch with some of her own, you know, female essentials. I have about three of them because, you know, you never know when it could come. At least, let me not say that because I know some people have their cycle timed to a fault. I don't. My cycle is, I don't know. It's not weird, per se. And I know this is like, not even part of the whole what i have in my bag thing but if it is i am really angry or under stress my cycle can come like i have that power to make it come and that's not a good power to have but yeah it is with me kind of like emotionally based so you know i can't really tell when it's gonna come it can come one month this time one month the next time and i just don't want to be caught slipping and to stain off my clothes so i have at least three up in here yeah i don't play with that these are actually the stay free brand it's not the overnight one but yeah i really do like these people say it feels like diapers but it does the job which is to prevent me from leaking and that's all i care about so okay. next up i have my stationery couple pens and pencils nothing you know big and dramatic but yeah i believe you should always have a pen on you you never know when you will need one in the bank grocery work whatever i just need my pens or pencils i also have next my car charger because i have an iphone 11 and it the charger that i have now will the usb cord attached to my charger it doesn't fit into the regular let's go again the regular thing to stick this into whether it's like a cigarette lighter or whatever so i make sure and i have this on me it comes in very handy because I am always doing something on my phone. I'm attached to my phone. I love my phone. So, you know, I don't ever want my battery to, you know, die on me. So, yeah, I walk around with this. And of course, the cord. But now nah, it's using my charger right now. But yeah, this is very good to have. I would suggest that, you know, you get one if it is you're always on your phone. Um, I got this at the Five and Under store. Five and Below is the name of it, right? When we were in the States back in January. And it was $5. So, yeah, I'm very glad that I got this. And finally, in the bag, I have my Vaseline. Now, here's the thing. I don't really use lip gloss or lip balm, especially when it is you're wearing mask. I find Vaseline helps really good to keep your lips soft and not cracked up and dry, especially when you're wearing a mask. That's the thing. When I'm working out in the field, right? Or even self, I'm, even self, I'm working in, you know, in the office or anything like that i don't wear makeup to go to work right so that's definitely why it is i need to have this because besides my sunscreen this is very important to have to just keep my lips from you know not getting scratchy like somehow like when it is i'm wearing a mask and thing and i am not wearing vaseline i've actually tried it already just to see like my lips get very dry you know like when your lips like running rubbing sorry on the mask so yeah definitely vaseline is the way i use this one here it's vaseline there's a brand i've had it for a good while as you all can tell because look how far it going down to but these kind of things last very very long and yes i did get it from pennywise can't remember the exact cost but i don't think it could be more than 20 dollars if so much okay guys so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my quick little video on what i have in my handbag the updated version if you do want to see the previous version of what it is i have in my handbag i did one i believe was it 2021 i think i did one early last year around this time so or like april yeah 2021 so i will link it in the description box down below so you can check it out thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing if you haven't already i'm waiting girl <laughs> and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe for more beauty fashion travel and lifestyle videos from your girl see you all in my next one
I can't see, I won't let no one